When it came to Fox de Marist, Giselle had been hopelessly and completely in love with the man for six years. Six long and agonizing years. Time alone is so rare, she murmured. Shall we take advantage of it? His lips twitched with a smile. God, I hope so. The usual place? His pale gaze moved around the stable yard, which was relatively empty at this time of day. The animals were fed, chores were done, and it was the quiet part of the afternoon, when most people were either napping or off doing inconsequential things. He cleared his throat softly. Aye, he agreed. I will meet you there. Giselle turned away without another word. She knew where their usual place was, but getting there without being seen was the trick. There was a barbican to the south of Selborne, covered stairs leading down to a small, fortified chamber that sat on the banks of a small river called the Wellhead. Selborne was a very old castle, a Saxon fortress built well before the Duke of Normandy came to the shores of England, and there had been a time when the Wellhead was a river that connected with larger rivers that travelled to the sea. Supplies could be brought to the Barbican via the waterways, but those days were long gone. At some point, the wooden walls had been replaced by stone, as had the rest of the castle, and the small moat around the fortress had been widened. Drawbridges and gatehouses were now the main point of entry, and the big chamber on the banks of the small river was old and dusty and abandoned. It was their safe haven. Giselle was very casual in her path to the Barbican. It wasn't normally guarded, but the gate was secured, an old iron and oak gate that opened to the protected stairs. It was near the keep in an area where they stored the wagons, and Giselle kept a sharp eye out as she made her way into the corral of wagons. Ducking low, she was able to get to the gate, open it, and slip through. Quickly she made it down the dusty, steep steps. The room at the bottom was another dusty space, forgotten by time. But she and Fox had managed to build it up as a chamber for only the two of them, a place where they could be alone in a world that very much wanted to keep them apart. The fortified chamber she found herself in had an even smaller chamber inside of it, one that had once stored things and could be locked from the outside. That was the chamber that she and Fox used, for their very own, with a rope bed and stolen furnishings, like a fine coverlet and hides on the floor. There, they could pretend there was nothing standing between them, where they could make believe that theirs was a normal relationship, and that ultimately they would be together. <laughs> 